In his new book, Treating Alzheimer's, a patient and family guide, neurologist Dr. Richard Isaacson from the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine, and who went there, uh, shares his unconventional approach in the fight against memory loss. I said, are you old enough to be a doctor, let alone a neurosurgeon? I, pre I appreciate it. A lot of hair and makeup. Is <laughs> and you live in Miami, the coolest city in the, in the, in the country, I think. So, go ahead. I don't have any questions. Okay, no, I want you to do what, all the talking. What can we do? You know, you, you start, I, I mean, even for me, I realize I'm, I'm for, like, I forgot his name. I know he's the fill-in for Steve, right. but I forgot. <laughs> fill the in. The fill-in, fill thank in. you. I mean, you sure. start early, you start to just forget things that you right. know you knew. Right. So there are several things that are absolutely normal as we age. For example, um, I was having an emergency before I left, jumping on the plane. I forgot my shoes, so I'm wearing sneakers today. Um, if you're, okay, so if, you do it too. I, I do it too. Everyone does it at all ages. But, but as when does we it age, start? When nice, is Alzheimer's nice sneakers. Because my grandmother you, had sure. it, and right. it got there was this progressive. At first, you're like, right. oh, she forgot. It's cute. Then right. it becomes, a, and then you get the aggressive stage, and right. she had all that too. Right. So as we age, normal things happen. Like it's harder to remember something. It's on the tip of your tongue. Yes. You forget the name, but it comes back to you later. Uh, also, with Alzheimer's disease, it, it's quite different. Short-term memory progressively declines. Okay. Uh, for example, you lose your keys, you lose your cell phone, but then that leads to other things like, um, hmm, I get lost while driving, or I can't oh. balance my checkbook, or oh, manage wow. my finances. Mm -hmm. And then the other behaviors oh. start happening, <clears throat> depression, agitation, aggression, uh, difficulties with sleep. So, so you're, you're talking about preventing it or, or treating it or both? Well, you know, I, I think you know, I have a family history of Alzheimer's disease. My Uncle Bob was diagnosed with Alzheimer's when I was in high school. My dad's cousin was diagnosed just four years ago. And, you know, we have to do everything that we can. I have a 20-step plan for treatment, and I have a 10-step plan for prevention. And as long as it's safe and, and may work, I'm going to so try. Are you blending sure. conventional medicine with other Western medicine? Are you right. sort of? I love that because Dr. Right. Oz does that. And I'm a big believer. It's not just right. one way. It's not just right. pharmaceutical ways. Right. It's got to be other things. Absolutely. The pharmacologic and non-pharmacologic. You know, the non-drug approaches are almost as important. Yes. Everything I recommend is safe, but it's also grounded in scientific evidence. Either a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trial or epidemiological evidence. Nothing I recommend is, oh, just try yeah, this. Yeah, but Willie, some of what you recommend right. is exercise. Exercise, absolutely. So there's, there's really four main points when it comes to preventing Alzheimer's okay. that, I'm, that I'm passionate about. Number one, exercise. Probably the strongest thing one. that you can do is exercise, absolutely. We have data. We, we have uh, evidence in mice, for example. And mice can be given Alzheimer's, a, a genetic uh, a mutation that will give them Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. And if you have exercise mice versus mice that don't have exercise, you can actually decrease amyloid protein or the pathologic protein responsible for it. So what kind of uh, exercise? Because people get elder swimming, right. I would imagine, is, is going to um, be up there. Uh, you know, five minutes is better than zero. Fifteen is better than five. Okay. And 30 to 45 minutes, three to four times a week is, oh is should be the goal. Is this walking good enough, or is it like the eye-hand coordination? Or We're learning. We don't have all okay. the we don't what, have all the What's knowledge. your one-sentence definition of, al of Alzheimer's? Right, so Alzheimer's disease is a progressive neurological disorder that involves short-term memory as well as other... Uh, uh, aspects of thinking or cognition. Okay, so, let's memory, go through the other not, three, though. You said yeah. exercise. Oh, right, so exercise, absolutely super important. Uh, number two, uh, mental exercise, uh, mm -hmm. keeping the brain active. Crossword puzzles. Uh, well, so Sudoku. crossword. Sudoku, a lot of people say, oh, do Sudoku, it's going to be great for the brain. Sudoku is going to make you better at Sudoku, yeah. but learning something new, a learning a new language, um, okay. taking adult right. education classes, socialization, group activities, um, learning right. a new hobby, learning how to play an instrument. For mm -hmm. example, the mm -hmm. power of music, you can't underestimate the power of music. And there is scientific evidence for the power of music therapy for memory in Alzheimer's disease. And what you can do is now there's CD programs and activity and educational programs you can listen to on CD to stimulate the mind, exercise memory, um, and that's really key. And you have two more. Oh, absolutely. So there's definitely two more. Number one uh, is regular follow-up with the primary care doctor. Okay. Um, you have to, you know, you can't do anything so without... So family members need to know this, just to have the person stay up on it. Absolutely. Because sometimes they are not... Absolutely. Because know. the earlier you diagnose, the earlier you can treat, and the earlier you treat, the better the patient will do. It's nothing to be ashamed about. Having memory loss or cognitive impairment, right. it's so common. See a doctor, see a qualified medical professional, and get help. So memory loss can be repaired or not? Well, yeah, I think so. I mean, we have a number of FDA-approved drugs. We have a medical food. We have potentially supplements. We have non-pharmacologic approaches. Number, uh, most, one of the most important things is diet and nutrition. Um, wow. over, the last, over the last few years, the research has exploded with diet and nutrition. You are what you eat. If you can eat healthier, Mediterranean-style diet, lean proteins, fish yeah. high in DHA, doxahexanoic acid, lake trout, herring, albacortuna, wild salmon, 
Also, antioxidants, berries, uh, green leafy vegetables, and the most important thing is decreasing those carbohydrates. Yeah, so this is basically the diet I'm on that's helping me lose weight, so maybe Perfect. it's helping my... Uh... Absolutely. Can I just take the fish oil Absolutely. or do I have to eat the fish? Well, that's a great question. We don't know all the answers, but I would say both. Eat the fish mm -hmm. and have the fish and oil. And exercise supplement. the body and the mind. Absolutely. All right, thank wow, you, Dr. Rises. It is a new book that uh, is Treating uh, Alzheimer's, A Patient and Family Guide. It's on Amazon.com and I'm sure all of your favorite uh, booksellers, right? You wouldn't use the same sponge.